Basil. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Just checking the doors. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Uh, I was in the bathroom. Yes, she was, dear. So I just popped in to have a, have a look at these hinges, you know, the ones we've been... Do <laughs> you really imagine, even in your wildest dreams, that a girl like this could possibly be interested in an ageing, brillantine, stick insect like you? <laughs> Seriously, Sybil, do you remember when we were first manacled together? <laughs> we used to laugh quite a lot. Yes, but not at the same time, Basil. <laughs> charming people. Mm. The Abbots, charming couple. Yes, all three of them. Does that stir any memories in you, Basil? Memories? <gasps> Agincourt? <laughs> what? Anniversary of the Battle of Agincourt? Shall I deal with this, Basil? I'm dealing with it, dear. No, dear, that's all right. Now you want it too, single. I said I'd deal with it. Do you mind sharing your bathroom? <laughs> Look, I was here first. Well, it's my turn now, then. <laughs> I fought the Korean War, you know. I killed four men. <laughs> he was in the catering corps. He used to poison them. <laughs> it's a relatively new profession, psychiatry, isn't it? Well, Freud started about 1880. Yes, but it's only now we're seeing them on the television. <laughs> oh, I like that. Will you do me one? Really? A Manuel? Yes, look nice on Basil's bedside table. Any messages? Uh, three, I think. Three? Everybody wants you, don't they? Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, well. You're only single ones. <laughs> Twice can be arranged. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Bursty zip this morning. Oh. <laughs> Darling. You're embarrassing Andre. No, dear, I'm embarrassing you. Look at that. Well, I'd better go and have a word with the guests. Why don't you have another vat of wine, dear? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you smiling, Mr. O'Reilly? Well, to be perfectly honest, Mrs. Forty, I like a woman with spirit. Oh, do you? Is that what you like? I do, I do. Oh, good. Now, Sybil, that's enough. <laughs> I have seen more intelligent creatures than you lying on their backs at the bottom of ponds. I have seen better organised creatures than you running round farmyards with their heads cut off. Now collect your things and get out. Oh, and one word of advice. If you're going to grope a girl, have the gallantry to stay in the room with her while you're doing it. Oh, yes, how is the old toenail? Still growing in? Mm, still burrowing its way down to the bone? Still macheting its way through the nerve? Hey, nasty old nail. It's still hurting, if that's what you mean, Basil. Well, it'll be out in the morning, poor little devil. I wonder if they'd mount it for me, just for old times. I'm sure it's worth asking. You could hang it on the wall next to the moose. They'd go rather well together. Uh, yes, Polly. I don't know what she's... <laughs> Mr Brown is from the CID. He showed me identification. They're watching Mulberry. He's a confidence trickster. I see. What do you, what do you, what do you mean, you see? Let's have a look at these valuables. What, what are you doing, Sybil? Sybil, I forbid you to open that safe. Sybil, I forbid you to take that case out. Sybil, do not open that case. I forbid it. I have forbidden it. I never thought I would live to see the day. Why not? A peer of the rebel trusts to us. A case of animals. In trust. <laughs> do you not seem to realize that I'm needed at the hotel? No, you're not. It's running beautifully without you. Polly cannot go can't fall over waiters or get herself jammed under desks or start burglar alarms or lock people in burning rooms or fire fire extinguishers straight in her own face. But I should think the hotel can do without her sort of coping for a couple of days. What do you think, Basil? No, no. She was the one he had with him the third time. The first one was the dowdy one, then his wife, then her, and now this red. Oh, yes, that must have been lovely. Number 12. Sure. Oh, what? Hello, dear. What are you doing? I'm kissing you, dear. Well, don't. You know, it's all right when they have the life force, but Mother, well, she's got more of the death force, really. She's a warrior. No, no, it's all right. I'll hold. She has these, well, morbid fears, they are, really. Vans is one. Rats, doorknobs, birds, heights, open spaces confined spaces. It's very difficult getting the space right for her, really, you know. 
Footballs, bicycles, cows. And she's always on about men following her. I don't know what she thinks they're going to do to her. Vomit on her, Basil says. But if you want it done straight away, I suggest you try someone like, uh, oh, what's his name? It's, uh, O'Reilly? Bravo, Polly. Well done, girl. But listen, where are you speaking from? She's in here with me, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you won't forget to put some more splits in the bar, will you? No, I'll do it later. I don't expect Polly will forget, Basil. No, just reminding her, dear. Oh, were you? Well, I thought so, yes. Really? Well, it sounded like it to me. You don't have to worry about Polly forgetting anything important, Basil. Don't I? No, you don't. Oh, good. How splendid. No, she doesn't forget things. Doesn't she? Well, can you remember the last time she did? No, I can't, but then my memory isn't very good. <laughs> you can say that again. Can I do it? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I've forgotten what it was. <laughs> You're a chef. Yes. Uh, has he been with you long? About six months. He used to work at Dorchester. At the uh, Dorchester? No, in Dorchester, about 40 <laughs> miles away. <laughs> you put Basil in the rat of <laughs> Yes! <laughs> He's from Barcelona. Had it up to here with you. Oh, you never get it right, do you? You're either crawling all over them, licking their boots, or spitting poison at them like some benzedrine puff adder. Yes, I'm sorry, but do you think we could cancel our fruit salads? Well, it's a little tricky. Chef's just opened the tin. Oh. <laughs> at one stage, I was contemplating becoming a surgeon. A tree surgeon. <laughs> Thank you, Sybil. Had to give it up. Couldn't stand the sight of sap. <laughs> Oh, Basil. Yes, dear? What is that doing here? It's your garden name, dear. Isn't it nice? Well, don't you think it would be better in the garden? Yes, dear. Good idea. Oh, no, no, no. Basil, put him back. On second thoughts, I think I'll leave him in charge. I'm sure he's cheap, and he'll certainly be better at it than you are. <laughs> Who needs Harold Robbins when you've got the real thing? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been married, Mrs. Forty? Oh, since 1485. I mean, where are the pens? I mean, would you believe it? I mean, there are no pens here. I mean, this is supposed to be a hotel. But well, what are they doing in there? I put them there. Why? Just sign there, Mr. Walt, because you're always losing them, Basil. I am not always losing them. People take them. Well, they don't take them from me. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I didn't guess that you'd suddenly done that after 12 years, dear. I'm afraid my psychic powers must be a little bit below par this morning. There we are. Don't be silly, Basil. It's written there quite clearly on the top of the box. Pens? And it's more like Ben's to me. Well, when Ben comes, you can give it to him. <laughs> Hello, dear. Just going to, uh... 